London's French scene is undeniably thriving. Many of those who have been here for longest work in the city's finance industry, by far the largest in Europe. More recently, French entrepreneurs have flocked here, attracted by the capital's labour laws, its welcoming attitude to business and its vibrant entrepreneurial scene. However, these expats are divided on what brings them to London and what keeps them here. On the one side, a younger generation of entrepreneurs relishes the ease of doing business here compared with Paris. On the other side, a wealthy minority who are concerned about proposed tax changes in this year's budget. These changes mean that those living here for more than 15 of the past 20 years will lose the coveted non-domicile status that keeps their offshore profits out of the UK tax net. According to the latest data, some 115,000 people claimed non-don status during the 2012-13 tax year. Some of them say it could threaten their future in the UK. Well, I've been in London more than 20 years and uh, what I've been doing is really advising wealthy people living in the UK mostly, but also living abroad. So I've seen the change that London has been through over the last few decades and especially the impact of the non-don regime uh, you know, at, attractive people coming to the UK. Well, I think that the Chancellor underestimates the overall impact this uh, change could have on the UK economy. Why is that? I think it's very simple. It's three things. Point number one, I think he underestimates the overall size of the London population living in the UK. For example, if you just take the French, it's hundreds of thousand, you know, French people living in the UK. And secondly, these people are wealthy, most of them. They spend a lot. They contribute to the social and the economical impact of the UK. And thirdly, these people, we shouldn't forget Get. They are very mobile. And actually, there's going to be a, a new presidential election in May 2017. So quite a few of them are considering moving back to France potentially after the election because a lot of the potential candidates, and especially the number one in the polls today, Alain Juppé, the mayor of Bordeaux and former prime minister, has said openly he will abolish the wealth tax. While a super-rich international minority in London complain about the proposed tax changes, a younger group of French entrepreneurs is struck by the opportunities. Ludwig Blanc, no relation to David, is a former investment banker at JP Morgan. In 2011, he set up Blanc, an eco-friendly dry cleaning company based in Marylebone and here in Notting Hill. London is a great place to be an entrepreneur, uh, mainly thanks to the regulatory framework. There are lots of tax incentives. Uh, for investors, for example, to invest in new startups, and that really broadens the pool of people who are interested in supporting uh, small businesses. Uh, the labor laws in, in England and in London are quite favorable uh, when you're creating a company because you can hire quite quickly uh, and try and bust the growth by uh, hiring more people as soon as you need. You don't have to wait too long because you know that you have some flexibility, so it's, it's very favorable as an entrepreneur, uh, you feel less risk. I think the problem in France and in Paris is that if you hire uh, people, you're always very concerned to be locked in and all the rigidity of the employment work. Jerome Lassin set up his consultancy business and law firm in London more than a decade ago. He thinks that London's appeal gets to the heart of the different French and English attitudes towards entrepreneurialism. The attitudes towards entrepreneurs in France and England vary a lot. England seems to be much more welcoming. Uh, here, if you fail, you can try again. If you're successful, uh, society rewards you. You're, you know, it leads uh, by example. In France, there's a tendency uh, to want you to be part of a mould. You can't just be successful if you haven't done the right schools or followed the right system. In England, you can have been a vet and become a lawyer. You can be uh, uh, an engineer and just start a business. It doesn't really matter. Uh, you may not even have studied. I mean, of course, that happens in France too, but not to the same extent. Politics in France has played a huge part in shifting the culture against the entrepreneurs. I think you're blamed for supposedly being rich and not sharing with others. It's the complete opposite in England, where you know, that success is seen to drive jobs and the creation of jobs, and therefore is, is highly welcome. The capital is booming for entrepreneurs right now. But ahead of France's presidential elections in 2017, some candidates have vowed to create a more business-friendly environment. Looming over all of this is the question of the referendum on the UK's membership of the European Union. London cannot afford to be complacent. Harriet Agnew, Financial Times, London.